Hi guys, it's Sharon Murray from Journey to Health and Wellbeing. How are you all? Tonight we're going to be having hamburgers with a smart bun. This is the first time that I've ordered the smart buns, which can be bought on Smart Bakery Company website and you can also buy them on Amazon as well. So, they are zero carbs, they're non-GMO, they're gluten-free, only 72 calories. And basically, that is what the burger looks like when it's all put together nicely. And so, yeah, zero carbs. I was really quite impressed with that. It has 10 protein, 12 fiber, and they are sesame seeds. So, if you don't like sesame seed, they're probably not for you. But I'll just turn you around and show you the ingredients. Here is the ingredients. Purified water, proprietary fiber, blend oat fiber, rice fiber, corn fiber, flax meal, eggs, erythritol, whey protein, isolate sunflower oil, cellulose scum, natural flavor, sesame seeds, spices, potassium and chloride. And that is the nutritional facts, which is your macros. So zero net carbs and below that is where you would buy it. So basically I ordered these when my mum was here. You get six in a in a container in a box. That one's actually empty right now. I do have my bun here. It's frozen right now, but this is what it looks like. So basically when they do come, it tells you to freeze them. They're not like regular bread that you can leave out. So make sure that you freeze them. And this will be, basically looks like hamburger. What I do is I'll just put pop this in the microwave for 20 seconds. Then I put some mayonnaise on the bottom, put my hamburger in the middle, cheese, lettuce. I don't have any tomato or onion or pickles, but... I'll show you what it's like after it's done and I'll try it for you. They are the best. Seriously, it's just like having the real thing. Even my husband that's not keto, he liked them. So um, this was on sale at Walmart for $6.12. These are the two and a half, well, one... 33 pounds almost two pounds of bacon cheddar patties it's even seasoned beef bacon cheddar and cheese patties so always make sure that you read the macros on the back and read the ingredients on the back because it's not just meat that you're getting it is three net carbs per so there's four in a container per one so always make sure that you read the ingredients as to what's in this. So it does have cheddar cheese and other kind of things. But this is pretty much fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fry it in my copper pot. And when I put the burger all together, I'll show you. So what's for dinner at your house tonight? We're having burgers. I'm so excited because this will be my second time I've tried these. And like I said, my mum, I think she had two burgers when she was here that you get six in a box. And you can order yours at Smart Baking Company. And I'll put the link in the description box below. A comment in the comment section below if you have tried these. And if you're new today, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of any of my future upcoming videos. Make sure that you give us a thumbs up because we like those thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below. So we'll see you shortly when they're getting Okay, so these are the four patties that I showed you, the bacon and cheddar. And you can see the big chunks of cheddar in there. And you can also add your own bacon or your own cheddar to ground beef if you want to make your own. You don't have to pre store buy them. And so I have put the burner on medium heat at first. This is non-stick, so I don't need to use any oils or any sprays. 
and it will it has all the natural fats so I'll show you in a bit and then I have this flipper that I bought from Big Lots that I'll flip them over so basically yeah I'm having the grilled burgers hubby's gonna have his um, not sure if he's gonna have a burger or not we might have to fight over the last two that is there because they are that good okay we'll see you soon when they're cooking okay, so the burgers are cooking and as you can see it's a little burnt well not burnt but brown make sure that you put it on a lower heat um, after you start cooking them because we don't want them to cook too fast and as you can see the blood so now I'm just going to put the top on the top on them here so they're going to cook like this until I flip them over okay here is the bun I just put it in the microwave for 20 seconds heated the bun up and this is what the bun looks like I just put some Hellman's mayonnaise. I know it's got soybean oil as the first ingredient, so it's not the best. Then I'm going to add the hamburger patty on. I could put some extra cheese on it, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. And I'm going to be adding some Alterna Sweets ketchup tomato sauce. Uh, tomato sauce is what we call it in Australia. This is sugar-free, paleo-friendly, keto-friendly, can be found at alternasweets.com. I actually have an affiliate code with them and I'll put that in the description box below so that you can order yours and save yourself, I believe it's 10% with the code MYKETO. This also is no artificial sweeteners and no preservatives. Here's the macros on the back of the label. It is two carbs per two tablespoons, or one tablespoon. This is absolutely the best ketchup that I have ever had that is keto friendly. It's the only ketchup that I'll use at the moment while I'm keto and I tend to stay keto. Don't like Heinz, don't like anything else. This is the bomb. A little goes a long way. As you can see, I've used quite a bit and I've been meaning to do recipes with it. But yeah, so order yours today and I know the, I do know the owners, Misty and Jared, and they're so sweet. And yeah, so make sure that you buy you some, get you some, get you some, get you some. I'll turn a sweet. Okay, I'll see you when the burger is all put. Okay, so the burger's been put together. I thought, what the heck? I will ha add an extra slice of cheese. This is just American singles, craft, And just a, a tip, make sure that you give this bottle a good shake and then you kind of just stop it down like that. I've spread it over the burger. And now I'm going to put the cheese on top of the burger so look at that doesn't that look professional it's so delicious okay and I'm gonna take a bite and show you what oh my goodness that is so good the burger is absolutely perfectly cooked inside the bun oh my gosh it's amazing I am drooling so what is for your dinner tonight let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you later after I devour this burger. It's quite early here. It's only 3 o'clock. We tend to eat early at about 4. And I haven't had lunch. So this is my first meal of the day. Okay guys. Stay blessed and keto on. Bye for now.